Hello, Sofia Zapata here. Today we're doing a video on autoclave, autoclaving. That is my assignment for today. So uh, I need a demonstration of uh, completing a full round of autoclaving. First of all, like I said, again, I wish I would have done all these assignments at Skills Lab on Monday. It would have been easy pie. But anyway, let's move on. So sterilization is a complete destruction of organisms and that is what autoclaving is used to get rid of all the all the organisms in the instruments that have been used by uh, patients. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have an area where your dirty instruments are going to be placed. You need a sink with a basin in there. Of course, the clinic will provide a sink with you and also a basin. So that is easy. You need a sink with a basin in there and you will also need a disinfectant to disinfect your instruments. One of them is called glutaraldehyde. That is one of the disinfectants that the, that the clinic uses. You need a brush to get rid of the debris, which is the blood. So you will need to brush off all the debris that, is, that are sometimes in the instruments. You need... um goggles you need gloves you need a a lab coat so that is ppe personal uh equ equipment i forgot what it what it was but personal protective equipment there you go so those are the th things that you're gonna need in order to to do a perfect auto cleaving routine you also will need a sharp in uh stars the you oh, okay sorry you're gonna need a gauze so that the gauze is for any sharp instruments. When you put them in the pouch, you are going to want to have to put the gauze there. That way the, the pouch isn't damaged and the whole thing will be done for nothing because you are going to have to do it again because it's going to contaminate it. So you need uh, pouches, packs, packs, pouches, two different words, but same thing. And of course, you need the autoclave machine. After that. When you have all your all your equipment, all your stuff that you need for the autoclaving routine, you're gonna do some maintenance on it. So for maintenance, you need distilled water. You need to make sure that the water is in the right measurement where the autoclave. Many autoclaves are different; they're not all the same. So it depends what kind of autoclave you will have at the facility at the clinic. So just make sure that the water is right where it needs to be. Make sure you clean out the water as well. Uh, the autoclave needs to be cleaned at least every, well, not at least. It does need to be cleaned once a month. And also, you sometimes you do strips. Well, not sometimes, but it is something that you do to keep the machine working. You do strips and you send them to the lab to make sure that the autoclaving is taking away uh, all the dirty organisms. So after that happens, we will move on to the autoclaving and the third step of this routine. So after everything you have done and everything you made sure, you're going to go ahead and move on with the instruments and put them inside the autoclave. After the instruments have been soaked in the disinfectant after 30 minutes, you are going to clean the instruments, take them out, out of the the disinfectant and you're going to start brushing them and cleaning them from the debris you're going to clean out the debris after you're done doing that you are going to rinse the instrument with lukewarm water after that you are going to let the instruments air dry when that is done when the instruments are being dry and they're done being dry you're going to go ahead and put them inside the pouch Wrap the instruments in the gauze, like I said before, if the instrument is sharp. After that, when you are done putting the instruments inside the pouch, you are going to name the instrument. You're going to put the date and also your initials, you, the medical assistant initials. You want to make sure that you don't forget the initials. That way, other patients, uh, not other patients, other co-workers, other MAs know who you did the the routine then you're gonna put the pouch inside 
the autoclave machine and you're going to make sure it is fully locked after that you're going to press on and that when you press on that's when the the machine the autoclave will start the process and there is many different autoclave machines out there so not all of them work the same so it it will take me or some another ma a while to learn different autoclaves but i am confident and i am a fast learner so i am confident that i will be able to manage every auto autoclave machine out there so that's it for today for the autoclave routine and this is sofia zapata again thank you for watching Bye bye